my goodness. I already did, Mom. I forgot to give you to you this morning before I was leaving to school. Everything you want for your birthday. He called to check. Just remind us about what's happening next week. I'm sorry, dear, but I, st I still don't get it. Next week is our daughter's 16th birthday. And we have to send the money to my dad to do the spiritual cleansing. Spiritual cleansing again? Alice, please don't turn for me. Here's the list. Joey, hold on to it, okay? And go ahead and eat your dinner. Okay. I'll be back. All right. You still have not answered my question, Alex. There's no question to be answered, Sharon. I'm just tired of sending thousands of dollars to Africa each time our daughter wants to celebrate her birthday. What, what is this supposed to mean? Do you know the implications? Look, I am not interested in any spiritual cleansing activities anymore. We claim to be Christian and still we are being fearful of the lies that we are being told by the devil. Wake up, Sharon. You open your mouth and call my father the devil? You must be selfish, heartless, and insensitive. <sighs> Sharon, you can call me whatever you like. I care less. Have you lost your mind? Remember, we are God heritage. And we shouldn't let ourselves to be tossed around by people of the world. I would rather walk with the Lord than for me to walk with the devil and be tossed around. Also remember, whatever the Lord has not commanded, he is not faithful to commit to it. Hear me and hear me well. If something happens to my daughter, I will make your life miserable in this country that you will regret forever coming here. last night. It was as if someone has poisoned his mind. Daddy. Exactly. And, and I'm beginning to get scared. I mean that it's just a few days to Joy's 60th birthday. And family is misbehaving. I, look, I told him the same thing. If something happens to my daughter, he will regret marrying me. He, 
Yeah, Dad. Look, I gotta go. It's it's almost time to pick Joy up from school, and I'll talk to you soon. Yes. All right, Dad. Love you. Bye, Daddy. Father, I pray. Oh, Lord, that my daughter will not die. I'm resting on your word, oh God, that you have said, oh God, and I'm hoping, oh God, Father, oh Lord, because of the faith and trust that I have in you, because I know, oh God, that what you have said will surely come to pass. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Sharon. 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 What is it? To talk with you, please. I can't wait until tomorrow. No, I promise I will not take too much of your time. I know 15 years ago, we made a mistake. In our desperation, we sought the devil for a child. But we are born again Christians now, and we shouldn't allow ourselves to be deceived by the devil. You are still calling my father a devil. No, Sharon, no. What I'm saying is, as Christians, we should not be sending money to Africa again for fortification of the life of our daughter. Now I see that you don't have any sensible matter to discuss with me. Can you please allow me to sleep? Okay, listen, Sharon. Let me, let me, let me open the book of Ephesians to you. Listen, in Ephesians, in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 1, listen to what it says. It says, how tremendous is the power available to us who believe in God. When we make firm our connection with God's spirit, his life and power will flow through us. We have that power in us, Sharon. Let us come together and use this power. Eh, Sharon? Okay, listen to what Isaiah 3.11 says. He says, Woe to the wicked ones. Disaster is upon them, and they shall reap what their hands have done. Sharon, my daughter Joy, I know, she will not die, but she will live to declare the work of God in her life. That is what the Bible says. My daughter is of God and she will not die because the Bible says so. Sharon, I'm talking to you, please. That you will grant unto us that we have been delivered out of the hands of our enemies by serving without fear in holiness and righteousness before him mm. all the days of our lives. Mm. Hmm. Do you hear that? Someone is at the door. Oh, okay. Please. Okay. Uh, so, did you hear what Daddy said about serving God? For how long? All the days of our lives. Right? In holiness. Holiness simply means obedience. Huh? So, okay. Oh, look, it's Joyce Dad. Oh, hello, Anna. my dear. How Good are morning, you? Good morning, Joyce Daddy. Come, Debra, come sit with us over here. Good. How are you, my dear? Good morning. Oh, Alex, morning. good morning. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. Uh -huh. So, Brother Alex, I hope all is well. Pastor, as I'm talking to you right now, my house is on fire. Fire? Why didn't you call 911? Wait, uh, okay, I think um, you guys can go to your room, okay? Run off. Okay. We'll finish up later on. Fire. I don't understand what you mean by that. Huh. Pastor, my house is burning. Bro, Alex, we don't seem to understand your parable. 
What's going on? How is Sister Sharon and John? Pastor, 15 years ago, after our marriage, we had a delay in childbearing. We were not Christian then. After several medical attempts to solve this problem, my father-in-law took us to a spiritualist. Ah, Jesus Christ! After 21 days of spiritual cleansing, nine months after, my wife gave birth to our daughter Joy. And since then, we've been told that we have to do some special spiritual cleansing two days before our birthday, Lord every Jesus. year. Jesus, the devil is a liar. But seven years ago, we came to America. And since then, I've been sending thousands of dollars back to Africa for this same spiritual cleansing. Bro, Alex, this can be true. Not until yesterday, when I decided that there has to be a stop to this thing. Hmm. Now my wife has been on my neck. Hmm. You mean Sister Sharon is still insisting that you do this um, spiritual cleansing, whatever? Yes, mommy. Uh -uh. She has been a thorn in my flesh. She's been bugging me, Pastor. Bro, Alex, what does spiritual cleansing has to do with joy? <sighs> we were told that our joy comes from the spirit world. And that if we don't do the spiritual cleansing every year, our mate from the spirit world, they're going to come and they're going to take our joy away from us, Pastor. <laughs> it's not possible. Ah, that's not true. The devil is a liar. Ah. Hmm. Brother Yes, Pastor. This is what happened to us as Christians. When we don't allow the, 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 the spirit of Pentecost, to reside in us. <laughs> well, we don't allow the power of God to rule us. <laughs> or we give ourselves to the will of the devil. You have allowed the devil to dig deep into your home. Yeah. Because of what? Your yeah. 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 to to God. God. When you don't give yourself to God and the power of the Pentecost is not residing in you, and the power of the Holy Spirit is not in control of you. This is what you face as Christian. Mm -hmm. So Sharon is still insisting that you send money to her father for this uh, sacrifice? Yes, mommy. Yes. Really? Oh, Alex, your phone is ringing. <laughs> Who is that? It's Sharon. Yeah, pick up. Let's Sharon. hear her out. Pick it, pick it. Hear her. Pick it. Hello? Yes? Mm. Dead? Ah, what? it has happened. What? what has happened? It has what? happened. Who is Who dead? dead? Ha! Ah. Sharon, 
if you can believe that the prayer of your husband is the one that killed your father, why don't you believe that the same prayer can deliver your daughter and that she will live and not die? We will always get off track when we focus on the stuff of life. The, that's why we need to allow the word of God and the power of Pentecost in our lives. The power of the word and the power of Pentecost enables and strengthens us to do what we never thought we can do. Christ has paid the price. High price for us to walk in the reality of the Word of God. 